Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin 1913, and we are Let's Playing Legacy of Cain, Soul Reaver 2. In the last episode, we made it to Ustenheim, the town where Janos Aldrin is either A, from, B, terrorized, or C, is just closely, geographically close to this area. Probably see. I have a feeling. And if you remember correctly, in Blood Omen, uh, Janos Ordren, right? He had, or at least in this town, they used to have a uh, spirit forge, and there would be a ton of Heart of Darknesses. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. I doubt we're going to see that here, but that's okay. You know what? These guys are good enough to have streetlights, so I'll move with that, huh? Alright, now let's go through here. Yeah, and if you remember correctly, I think you have to, like, walk through the place with, uh, the wolf part of it, because it was in the mountains, if I remember correctly. Ustenheim. Oh, come on. Now, I guess you could use the, uh... Yeah, there you go. You heard that noise? That's good. But I guess you could use the, uh... You know, spear, spectral realm and, you know, go through it without any bother. Let's continue going up the, uh, mountain. Ow. Take that, you son of a bee. There we go. Alright, go away. Now we gotta deal with a lot of dudes and dogs and monsters. Demons run after me. Those dudes should be worrying about their own hide, not me. You know what I mean? Okay, there's a guy over here. What the frick? Oh, damn it. Some be. Ooh, soul. I wonder if it's a dog soul or a regular dude soul or. Oh no, it's a. They killed that. Oh, I was about to say. Did they kill that green guy? You know, if these humans banded together, they could accomplish damn near anything. Like, like destroy a whole group of vampires or. whatever. I don't know. Yeah, take that, bitch. Okay, so... There's nothing here. This place is actually up here for... If somehow you were in the spectral realm, this is where you can warp. And, uh, let's see. I want to head this way. Towards the fire? Towards the brazers, as they call it. Ah, God. No one makes me bleed my own blue blood. You're lucky I'm gonna go easy on you this time. I don't even wanna fight any of you guys. You're a bunch of jerkwads. Uh-oh. More lightning demons. Oh, yeah. Nicely done. Go me. This edifice was clearly not crafted by human architects. As the figure beneath the balcony silently attested, these were the Ares of winged beings. Undoubtedly, I stood before the mountain refuge of the legendary Janos Ordre. But the entire sanctuary lay in ruin, collapsed under the force of some ancient cataclysm. As I suspected, the time streamer's deception ensured that I was centuries too late to unearth anything of consequence here. With nothing behind me but the wasteland I had traversed, I resolved to press on 
and explore these canyons further. Oh no. Every time you turn up, something monumental and terrible happens. I don't think I have the stomach for it. <laughs> no drama this time, Brazia. You are persistent, crossing time like this to follow me. Still waiting for that coin of yours to land on its edge. I'm biding my time. I see that Mobius has played a little trick on you. Yes. He clearly doesn't want me to meet this Janos Audrin. Perhaps. Or maybe he merely hoped that it would harden your heart against me to see this wasteland which I single-handedly offer. My heart doesn't need hardening, Cain. If I even suspected that destroying you would make any difference, I would do it this instant. <laughs> I knew you'd see through them, Raziel. Janos is indeed the key to your destiny. But you'll need to find your own way back into Nosgoth's path. Make no mistake. Take though, Raziel. You and I are now in great danger. We are irritants here. Malevolent forces are being marshaled to eliminate. You talk as though we're allies. Regardless of your sentiments, Raziel, in their eyes, we are. Well, they're certainly trying to eliminate you, King. There can be no doubt of that. I am assaulted relentlessly with demands for your demise. Whatever it is that you're plotting, they're scared to death of you. As for me, I suspect they made a grave error when they allowed my unique resurrection. I don't think they know how to destroy me. You mustn't underestimate them, Raziel. And who exactly is this diabolical they to which we keep referring? If there's some grand conspiracy going on, the right hand doesn't appear to know what the left is doing. Even Mobius seems to be caught out at every turn. Mobius is a puppet, Raziel. Haven't you realized that yet? That's the sweetest irony in all of this. Nosgoth's great manipulator is their plaything. But the ones pulling the strings haven't shown their faces yet. They don't like us unwriting their carefully choreographed history, though, do they? You must understand, Razio, we haven't unwritten history, we've merely rewritten it. The future flows around our petty actions, finding the path of least resistance while admitting only the slightest alterations. This is the reshuffling you felt when you refused to kill me. And remember, Raziel, we are irritants in this regard as well. History will not allow the introduction of a paradox. And if events cannot be reshuffled to accommodate the change, it is the irritant who's expelled. Bear in mind, this may be exactly the outcome our enemies are trying to provoke. We must tread very carefully. All right, so yeah, this used to be where Yano Orphan resided, I guess. And Cain stopped here to tell us we should probably not mess around in this time. Because there are dark forces here at work trying to destroy both Raziel and Cain. And who are these dark forces? We will not know until later. Anyways, yeah, there's, uh, there's, uh, some people that are being dark forces, and Kane is just saying how, you know, you gotta, you gotta watch what you're doing, because you don't wanna, you don't wanna screw up the future, even though we're in the future, so how can we screw it up even more? Who the hell knows? But yeah, Kane just came as like a warning. Don't mess around. Alright, so now what we have to do here. Yeah, 
Dean is still waiting for this coin, supposedly. Okay, he likes to call. That's a coin, you know, where the fate of the world is in Raziel's hands, basically. And, you know, Mobius. Mobius is just really. Aw, oh, damn it. Mobius is just really like a huge pawn in this whole thing, even though he's like, he's like, uh, you know, the biggest, like, tricker guy, you know, treachery and all that. He's probably the, uh, uh oh, stay with me. He's probably the, uh, he's a pawn. Like a pawn star. Yeah, so it's pretty funny how Kane just said, ah, screw it, you know what, I'm going to follow Raziel 500 years or so into the future. Or no, 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 it's only 100 or so years. But still, come on now. There's no reason to follow him and bother the hell out of him, that's for sure. Alright, where the hell is this portal? Playing these slua guys. I just want to find the portal. I want to go home. So yeah, some of you guys and ladies have been asking, what is Raziel? You know, and uh, you know, because he's not a vampire. And he's not a zombie, obviously. He's like some cross between, I'd say, a vampire and some sort of, I don't know, what the hell. Ah, oh, damn it. I don't even know what the hell I'd, what I'd call him. He's a soul reader. He's like a, I wouldn't call him a necromancer. Come on, I can't jump on there. Because he can't really, like, I don't know what the hell he is. I'm sorry. He was like a vampire that was evolving, right? And then he got kind of screwed over by Kane. And then that's really it, really. Now he's this thing. He's like a shell of his former self, but like way better. I think all the weight he lost too, I mean, jeez. Being thrown in that pit is like the best diet he could get weight loss program. Right. Come up here. Aw, oh, you son of a bitch. Not there. I don't even know I'm down here. Oh damn it. There we go. Dead. Alright, so we should be able to find something over right here. There we go. Aw, oh, doggy. I don't know, uh, yeah, let's pick up this thing. It's like a spear and an axe. It's pretty weird. Alright, let's, let's, uh, let's climb up this thing. I don't want to mess with these guys. Oh shit. We got two fire demons. Oh shit. There we go, yes. We're getting two fire demons. There we go. Yeah, you'll probably remember them from, uh, from, uh, Blood Omen. Where, uh, where, you know, they, uh, Azimuth Planer, she was summoning all those dudes. What the hell? Leave me alone. Yes, die. 
Hey, Victus. Hey, Victor. Oh, yeah. Dive, duck, and dodge, and dip. There we go. Look at all that energy. Take out this last eight hole. Now, obviously, you don't need to take these guys out. I'm just doing it for fun. I haven't killed a bunch of dudes in a while. Bare handed either. Come on and hit them already. Jeez. There we go. Take that. Uh oh. Fire demon. Oh, man, I just keep walking into that fire. And oh yeah, I was testing out that uh, telekinesis thing on the screen, and it totally does not work on these guys. There's no way to stun them or daze them or anything. Yeah, you gotta be really careful with these demons. Especially now that they come in perfection. Yeah, I think we can slew out alone for too long. Or like, as a soul for too long, they'll actually turn back into like, quote unquote, physical shit. There we go. Darkness, uh, there we go. There's a font nearby. And I don't mean Helvetica. Or time to run. You know what? I should have gone in there a little faster, but whatever. Anyways, let's shoot this eye here with the darkness thing. And head into the next, uh, this is the, this will be the wind. And actually, we'll begin the Wind Forge in the next episode. So, this has been Kenshin1913. I will see you later. Bye-bye.